Hey, okay, perfect. So let's get this started. I'm Ali. I'm the wife of the Humber team. This is our first episode of We Got You Live, where we answer actually your uh, burning questions. And today's guest actually walks around with a bright flower in her hair as she is right now. Uh, she's a senior orientation leader, and we'll be talking about what fall orientation will be looking like. So thank you, Mickey, for coming on live with us today, and uh, we really appreciate you coming on. Thank you so much for the introduction. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, awesome. No, no worries. I'd like to make it light and fun. Um, so can you tell us actually what fall orientation will be looking like? So fall orientation is going to be completely online and it's going to be a really fun and exciting new virtual space. I would know because I'm a part of the planning process and I'm just super excited to show everyone. Um, so even though everything's online, we still have a lot of the same things. So we're still doing your meet your faculty sessions. And instead of a welcome week, we're doing a welcome month full of events. And we e we're even making Blackboard modules for students before they start their classes so that they feel more prepared. Oh, that's awesome. Really adjusting to the online um, and really giving support to students. So you're talking about um, the more info in the faculty sessions. Where can students access that information? So for the Meet Your Faculty sessions, for the direct place that we're going to be doing it, we're doing it on Microsoft Teams. So new students will actually get sent a link, but we're going to post more information about what the sessions will be like on our website, humber.ca slash orientation. OK, so you use the website to go to the link on Teams, and you can join there. Uh, no, so basically we're posting information about what the faculty sessions are going to be like, like how to use Teams on our website, but then to join the sessions, we're going to be directly sending the links. So that way students, it's easier for them. They get their class sent to them and then they don't have to go looking around for it. OK, perfect. But yeah, thanks for the clarification on that one. No problem. Um, and then you were also talking about Blackboard modules for new students. How would they access that? So again, a lot of it's going to be sent to your emails, but um, any information about when it's going to be posted is going to be on our website. So our website's going to be the main hub for like information of, hey, this is going to be up, this is when this is starting, but a lot of it will be sent to students' emails. That way they don't have to search around anymore. Yeah, that's perfect. That's another really good tip for uh, new students. Always keep an eye on your email. You never know if your profs or your teachers are going to message you or even just updates. Having your email is going to be very good to keep track of and also to know what's going on. Um, exactly. And then you're talking on the website. Is there a specific website for this or is that on humber.ca? So it's humber.ca slash orientation and that's just going to be like a huge hub of information there for students. Okay, awesome. Um, and is there any other like information we can expect to see online? Um, so besides just um, the main orientation that's going to be happening and the schedule, we also have other resources like we have links to open learning resources that are really helpful to students. We have pre-recorded workshops that we've done before and so students can watch that on their own time. It's really helpful. Um, I ran some of them so <laughs> maybe I'm a little biased but yeah it was really fun and um, hopefully students find it helpful. I'd love to hear their feedback obviously. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, go check all those uh, definitely good resources out. They definitely will help you get uh, set up for the upcoming semester. Um, and then also all this information and updates will be posted to FYE's Instagram, right? Yes. So we're active on both um, Humber North FYE and Humber Lakeshore FYE perfect. Instagrams. Yeah, definitely follow them too. You can get all the newest updates there and uh, be able to keep in touch with what's going on. Um, so we had a few questions here. Let's just scroll back up and see what's happening. Thank you guys for all joining. Glad you can't wait to meet all the incoming students. Um, we had one question. Is there a deadline to when you should register for orientation? That's a good question. Deadline. Um, so right now we are we haven't set up it yet. Like we're going to have that, but basically orientation for academic meet your faculty sessions is going to be happening from September 1st to 3rd. So we're giving students that leeway to set up because we know like everyone's at home right now. So maybe they need to set up that. If we do have any of our official deadlines, we're going to be posting that um, to our Instagrams and to our website. And then I believe there's oh yeah, another question. What will the Blackboard modules include? So besides because um, right now we're uh, for meet your faculty sessions, that's going to be like academic orientation. Like, look, these are your faculty. For the Blackboard modules, it's more or less like preparing them on like getting used to using Blackboard because a lot of new students 
haven't used Blackboard before. I know I didn't when I joined at Humber. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot of like resources of, hey, like, look, here's some like resource links that you can use. Here's some like interesting tips for you so that you can do better online. Um, and the best part is uh, I'm a student, too. So when we were making it, we're we're always keeping in mind what's easiest for students. Right. And we want it to be something that's interactive and fun. So we're not going to just make a module where you're just scrolling through and reading it. We definitely made it more interactive. So I'm really excited. That's, that sounds amazing. Cause I remember back in my first year, when I started, you get introduced to Blackboard, and then you're like, "How do I work this? Like, how do you write? <laughs> like, do, like you know, you don't know how to like navigate it, and where like you submit assignments or contact your teacher. So it's amazing that we have that for students that are starting out. It'll be really beneficial. Um, mm -hmm. How can we connect to other students of the same course? So that's the best part about the meet your faculty session is not just going to be you meeting your faculty members. It's going to be people in your program that are meeting them, too. So they'll be in the chat and you guys can chat in the chat box. Everyone's going to be there and you can ask questions. Um, and obviously, you're going to have classes with them eventually, too. So you'll be able to meet them online. It's just about like getting adjusted to everything being online and getting adjusted to using Blackboard and reaching out to people like that. We do have some tips on that too, which is our pre-recorded workshops. I did that one. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah, definitely. It'd be a good uh, starting point to be able to reach out and meet some people there in the programs. Um, yeah. Why should students attend their virtual orientation? I mean, why not? We Everyone is always saying, um, well, at least I was, that, oh my gosh, I don't have that much to do. Like, I want something to do. I want to meet new people, but like, I'm at home and I want to know more about my class. I feel like before, even like in-person orientation, some people were like, why would I attend? And I say it's probably one of the best experiences that I've done. Not only do I get to meet new people, even if it's virtually, but I get to ask all my questions and I get to have like that extra resource that extra push that I'm like ahead or I feel more prepared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a good introduction. It helps you get to know your teachers on a different level because they're not just like the profs. Like, you can actually talk to them, you can get to meet them, get to know their personality. Everything mm -hmm. else is a little different, so it's good to actually get to know them as a person. Yeah, it's really nice. And the best part is they know that we're students and they probably know that we're still adjusting to everything being online. Same with them. So I, my experience is that they're very understanding and I've had a really good time just interacting online too. That's awesome here. So we got another question here. Are pre-recorded workshops available on the website? Yes, they are. They're available at humber.ca slash orientation. And you'll see that um, we have virtual workshop links. So we have um, workshops like financial aid, tips for success. I read that one. Um, <laughs> and all these uh, other great workshops. So definitely check those out. Um, they should be actually um, posted as YouTube links. So you can watch those videos on your own time. Awesome. What platform will we be using for the orientations and meet your faculty sessions? Will it be Microsoft Teams, Zoom, or Skype? It's going to be Microsoft Teams and it's going to be super easy. You don't need an account. You just need the link and you just click it and then you attend. It's great. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. It's so easy. You just got to click the link and you're there. And then I'm, you can also chat with their uh, classmates and your teacher in the chat box. But also you can turn on your video and you can actually have a conversation yeah. with somebody too, which is awesome. Yeah, and like just unmute your mic if you don't want to turn on your camera. I know some people are just like, no, yeah. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> yeah, whatever you're comfortable with. Mm -hmm. For sure. Well, we can open up for any more questions if you guys want to know anything else about orientation or. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad uh, people are asking. <laughs> yeah, no, this is good. We got some good questions here. Well, then definitely talking about um, Welcome Month. That's our next live, so tune in next week to get more information about that. With that, uh, events will start to be looking like so I know, that's exciting that too mm -hmm. can't spoil everything all in one go <laughs> yeah, no, gotta keep some things um but yeah thank you so much for coming on today and uh talking with us we really appreciate it and mm -hmm. i believe you want to talk about the uh, volunteer opportunity so i'll give you the floor to be able to talk about that yay okay so uh <laughs> thank you so much um so right now, orientation is uh, being all planned and everything like that. But the best part about orientation for me is the people that get to volunteer. So I've met like my best friend from volunteering with orientation and interacting with everyone. And I think 
um, right now we are looking for volunteers. So you have to be a returning full-time Humber student. And by that, we mean you can't be in your first semester because we want you to experience orientation. So definitely check out the humber.ca slash orientation to apply to be um, an orientation leader. You're going to be interacting with me a lot and um, a bunch of our other, <laughs> I'm the best friend. I see Sadia there. She's going to be doing the live <laughs> next. Um, but we definitely want to just build a really strong community. Um, and what better way than with really friendly volunteers from Humber itself. Definitely go check that out. Is there a spot where people can go for that? Yes. So it's going to be humber.ca slash orientation, and you can see to um, apply. There's like the apply button on, <laughs> on the corner. There you go. And we have one last question here. When will the orientation for the fall semester, uh, or when will it be, sorry, each program will have a specific, or will each program have a specific orientation? So each program will have a specific orientation and you'll be able to see that on our website when we um, post uh, basically being able to register for that. And so you'll get once you register for it, you'll see like um, your program. You could search up your program name and see if they're hosting an orientation. It's really easy. Hmm. I promise you're going to see everything. It'll be easy. And then you can just get that link emailed to you when it's about that time. Um, it's going to be fun. Like I'm really excited. There you go. Yeah, definitely go check out all the when your orientation is going to be and get the information on the site. Um, but if you guys have any other questions that we cannot answer or you're looking to get answered, send us a message and we can hopefully get you in the right direction there and we'll get back to you. Um, and if there's no other questions here, then we can uh, wrap it up. Oh my gosh, thanks for everyone for joining. It's so great. Yeah, no, thank you for joining all the comments and uh, all the hearts. We appreciate all the love. Yes. Mm. Yeah, we kept this one a little bit more short. We know everybody out there is a bit busy, and uh, we just want to give you the most value-packed information and everything so you get you guys uh, on your way. So we hope to provide some value for all you guys there and uh, what a little more insight into what the fall would look like. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me again. No, this no, was thank great. Thank you so much for coming online with us. But yeah, so if you have any other questions, let us know. Maybe you could be our next topic. So thank you again. So. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. All right. Thank you. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.